We are exactly two weeks away from election day, but early voting is already underway and mail-in ballots are also being received. And then there are the ballot questions. 22 News reporter Claire Overton is live in studio with information on question five after hearing about both sides this morning. Rich, question five on the ballot impacts the service industry and a proposed minimum wage for tipped workers. A yes vote would increase the minimum hourly wage an employer must pay a tipped worker to the full state minimum wage over five years. Tips could be pooled and distributed to all non-management workers. A no vote on question five would mean that nothing would change to the current system. One server in Springfield is opposed to the possible legislation. If this passes, our owners would probably, um, you know, have us earning less um, and um, pooling with other employees in the back of the house and in the front of the house. Um, I already earn way over minim minimum wage right now, um, and to go back to the minimum wage rate after five years um, will kind of just put a setback in my salary. Supporters of ballot question five say a minimum wage for tipped workers would create greater financial stability, reduce employee turnover and improve service quality. Early voting is occurring right now across the state and you can also still request your mail in ballot. For everything you need to know ahead of Election Day, just head over to our website at WWLP.com. Working for you live in studio, Claire Overton, 22 News.